I'm telling you, like, I don't want to spoil this stuff, but it's really crazy some of the stuff that she says during this. Like, like not, not, like, not just crazy, like crazy. It's like actually like crazy, like send her to the asylum. Okay. Like, separate her from the rest of society for the safety of others and herself. Yeah, and Atcast says she's making him feel self-conscious about and weird about being creative. What the f*** are you talking about? No, is that what it is? Is that her tactic? So that if she she's trying to make him feel like he's the weirdo for being able to be creative so that his creative process is stifled and he becomes even more dependent on her? Is Maybe. that what's going on? That's psychotic. So she doesn't read. And this actually gets brought up. So Idubs is like, what happens when you read? And she doesn't form images of what she's reading. What the f***? It's like beyond brain dead. It's just insane. So here we go. Uh, Anissa's husband and Anissa, right? This is episode two of their show. Yeah. So this is when there was still hope and optimism that the podcast would be a success. But as you can see clearly from this episode we're about to watch, you can see why it failed. Okay. Like, Beautiful. Pretty clearly. And remember, if you're watching on the clip channel, hit like. Hit like. Hit like. Subscribe. Or else we'll fucking, we'll do something. Australia trip. We just got back from Australia. Mm -hmm. uh, the main purpose being to go on cold ones. Mm -hmm. Right? Didn't wait. The main purpose of the trip was to go <laughs> on cold ones. <laughs> now, let's hear from iDubs. Now, look at, just look at him here, by the way. In this freeze frame, as he's about to let us all know that he did not, in fact, get to go on cold one. <laughs> he is, like, twitching. He's just so felted already, man. Wait, so, cold ones, if you don't know out there, cold ones is a very popular show with, um... Can't remember their names, but it is popular. Uh, it's Max and Chad. It's, like, the Anything for Views guy and Chad... And they put together their own podcast called Cold Ones. They now have their own brand of alcohol called Grog. But they were basically all you need to know about them because I cut out Ian's explanation. He basically had tears in his eyes while he was recounting this entire thing. But they were in the Filthy Frank crew with iDubs. And they were his like best buds, collaborators during the good times of iDubs. But now... They no longer have time for iDubs. They're too busy. They're too successful. iDubs flew all the way out to Australia, 18 hours, and his best friends snubbed him. Well, the thing is, they haven't changed. They never disavowed their old content. You know, even, yeah. what's his name, Joji? Is it Joji? The guy from yes, Frank. Yes, Joji. So it's interesting. I, I cut this part out because there's just so much in this. Sure. But iDubs refers to him as Filthy Frank. Anissa refers to him as Joji. I thought that was telling. Wow. I thought that was telling in the, the mindsets of these two people. That's cute. You know, but even Joji doesn't disavow. He just doesn't. He just moved forward with his life. That's yeah. it, right? Yeah. So. You can go on cold ones. They were too busy. Uh, they were too busy. <laughs> Look at him, man. Oh, my God. Yeah, I'm oh, sure. Oh, and when he did a Twitch live stream from over there. Now, I couldn't get this clip because Kiwi Farms wouldn't work. But Josh, he, figure it out. He, Kidding. Come on, Josh. What's going on? But he apparently had tears in his eyes when the news came to him that he wouldn't be able to go on cold ones because they were too busy. And pretty much every time he's had to say that publicly, he's almost cried. Wait. And you can and see him recently, here. He's just desperately sad. Remember more recently when he, when he shaved his head recently in the new studio, he came back from Australia, no cold ones episode. No. They're always like, ah, yeah, we can't. Which well, way. he was supposed to be in the tattoo episode or like the video they were doing with the tattoos, mm -hmm. but he refused to get the tattoos that they were getting, which were like joke tattoos, because he could only get a tattoo in American traditional style. So he just felt it as friends because Anissa runs his life. Listen, if you have 100 tattoos that are sticker style, like 
get the hundred and first tattoo. You know, stop it. Uh, we did see the frog suit. But they did get to see the frog suit, guys. All right, the frog so that, you suit. You know, the, the main goal of the whole, the whole trip to go on cold ones and network with his dear old friends and spend lots of time with them, that did not happen. But they did get to see a prop that they had. The frog suit. That tattoo suit. looks terrible. Is it? Oh, man, it's like a dragon With that's a got knife. like a knife coming through it. Like the line work is trash. Yeah, what does she look like? It's here? like so, like uh, it's like an amorphous blob. Like it's so undistinct. It's just shit. You know, season three, episode seven of Seinfeld, the woman with the big nose. That. What are you thinking about? <laughs> thinking nothing. <laughs> What could I possibly be thinking? <laughs> George, uh, I watched that one two nights ago. <laughs> All right, here we go. Ian told me he had four drinks, but Chad called him to check on him in the morning and said he had eight. Yeah. Um, and that, I know that sounds weak <laughs> as hell for anyone who so, drinks. I Dubs had eight drinks and was completely destroyed and had to go. <laughs> he basically had to get his stomach pumped and go on an IV. Because he had eight drinks. Oh. He claimed it was four that destroyed him, but now allegedly it was eight beverages. It's sad. Man. When you're on he used, cold ones? He says he used to be able to drink, and he's going to give a lot of copes out there. But let me just say this. I don't do a whole lot of drinking. Mm. I'm f***ing 38. What? So, you're 38? I, He's not 38, but he's trying to cope. He's trying to tell Fibs to justify oh, yeah. his like, inability to drink alcohol. How old is he? Anissa will correct him. Don't worry. All right. No. Basically, he in my 34. years. 34. Whoa. Oh. Look at this bitch. You know how they say as a president, you age Get ready faster because of all the stress and shit? Okay. Like, yeah. Obama got gray hairs in one year. Yeah. He was out. He was done. Mm. Same thing for a YouTuber, especially a YouTuber. What? what? I, so, iDubbbz is comparing his position as a YouTuber ah. to the same stress that the leader of the free world, the president of the United States, goes through on a daily basis, having to make decisions about who lives, who dies, what the tax rates are, what's going to happen on the border. Idubs is saying that his cuckold scandal, his OnlyFans scandal, was on the same level as being the president, president? of the United States, and that's why he can't drink anymore. Whoa! Oh man, that's crazy. Going through it. Yeah, I okay. wonder how many people he's ordered drone strike. Look at her. She just laughs at him. It's she's so like, embarrassing. She's like, You're a yeah, Body, this is... So, I'm 38 in YouTuber years. Okay. No, f*** that. I'm 46 in YouTuber <laughs> years. So, he has uh, now claimed that being a YouTuber has aged him an additional 12 years beyond his chronological age, and that he's just like a buck-broken, felted old man. Look, Look in his eyes, man. That's a felt eye. He's just eye, lost isn't it? all confidence in himself, all youth, all charisma, all swagger. This is a man just broken. This defeated. So yeah, I can't handle my liquor like I used to. Mm -hmm. Uh this has oh. happened before, too. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. She's gotta always add. The felt She's like, well, this is the he's first like, time you he, couldn't handle your liquor. He's like, yeah, okay, bring it up, bring the it smile up. Smile disappeared instantly. Like, like right? Oh. So I don't know. It's just my my main problem is I don't uh, stay hydrated is... while I'm drinking. Yeah. Uh, what a bit. What Imagine the he has to stay hydrated while drinking. That's so pathetic. He's eating like toast bread, you know, like. Yeah, like, I gotta I'm stay. I gotta, I gotta space it. my drinks, bro. Yeah. I gotta space my drinks. Let me get a water in before my next beer, dude. Wow! Imagine staying Sad. hydrated. Pathetic. Um, <laughs> when we do cold ones eventually, if it is eventually, if 
never happens. Eventually, it still has not happened to this day, and this was like eight months ago. I bet those Alex so, and Chad guy likes but, watching listen, our show. Listen, like this might be the reason why, because he's gonna say he can't drink on cold ones. Wait, really? Basically, in a format like sitting there and drinking, which, to be honest, I'm like hesitant about, because he'll start saying oh. the N word. Well, he might just reveal his true feelings about Anissa and his relationship he and how should. she sucks the life out of him and is a horrid succubus. Okay, okay. Uh, I think I would just get an IV while yeah. I'm so, drinking. Imagine this. You go on cold ones. You're so bitch made that for the first time in the history of the show, the friends, like, imagine how embarrassed the hosts are. Mm. Max and Chad. Yeah, this is our friend from back in the day. He did, like, the vomit cake and the hair cake, and he would do all these crazy stunts and stuff. Uh, but now he's been pussy-whipped by Anissa. He's been chained up. And so for the first time in the history of the show, we've had to wheel in an IV bag and attach it to him so that if he drinks four damn beers, damn he won't have to get his stomach pumped and die. Wow. This is the that's episode he was not, supposed to be yeah. in. 1.9 million. Like no, this? no, 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 Trent. Please. <laughs> Look at their production yeah, quality. It's like an actual TV show. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> no, no, I read in submission. Why is iDubs not producing stuff like no, this? Yeah. Those, like, scroll it looks he had the money. Wow. 1.9 million views. This Ooh. video, on the other hand, has 4,000. In how long? Like eight months. Wow. Okay. When I drink beer, wine, any of those things, hard liquor, there's always like a, uh, there's always a little bit of a. When he even drinks beer, and he, Nisa goes, even wine, Wait, even what? white wine. Liquor, there's, there's always like a, uh, there's always a little bit of a. Even white wine. Even. Wait. Oh. Wait, oh wait. I, my, oh my goodness. god, she's crazy. I thought when you were saying it, she was going, Yeah, even white wine. No, 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 no. she went, Even white wine in that tone. Like, that how sad. She's like, she's like, What about a, I don't know, a, a Bailey's? You know, like, Can even Bailey's a, makes him gag. He needs a little cooler, he needs yeah, a white yeah. cloth. Yeah, yeah. Even white claw, he's like, oof. I understand with like hard liquor, like yeah, this gin and stuff. Gin, yeah, gin yeah, especially. Gin does it for me. Gin yeah, does it for me. You yeah. know, but a beer, you can't drink a beer. Like, what are you, 12? Right. Are you 10 years old? You can't have a glass of wine? Whoa. Whoa, buddy. That's nuts. That's sad. I used to drink boxes. Of wine, which was foul. Oh, yeah. My, it was the box wine. Oh, man. 3P445 four, four, is gifted one stuff. We have it as a sticker. <laughs> the, the, the Franzia. Sangria. Remember when we had the fucking tower? The tower? <laughs> Sangria, I'm pretty good with. Sangria. No! no like, that's the, that's the no! drink. That's the drink that you, like, go. Listen, I don't drink, but I'll have a sangria. That's the drink when you first turn 19 or 21 in America yeah. that you give to girls at the party, like the sangria yeah. and the punch bowl. It's like white girl wasted tear. White woman drinks for Ian. It's like a juice. It has fruit in it. Yeah, the, this is like like what parents sangria. like you're at like 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 it's like a Mexican family's having a fiesta. It's the type of drink. The parents let the kids drink a sip up. You know Wine what I mean? mommy in. <laughs> Look, right. I'm 34 years old and my balls still haven't dropped. I'll it's, have a sangria. It's, it's like, let him have a sip. I know he's oh, nine, but it's a sangria. It's, oh, oh. Yeah, you are pretty when there's like, like more uh, sugar yeah. and shit to soften it. Yeah. Because you need oh to compromise. Oh my God, it's so soft, bro. All right. That's right. All right. Like that's the whole idea right get ready like so can't... this is him explaining why but look at him here by the way zoom in enhance <laughs> buddy it's like his soul was just removed from his body by a demonic entity 
Wait, why is he's, my um... he's he's like the Undertaker? He's like the Soy Taker. So he's explaining why he can't just go and hang out with Max and Chad anymore. Earlier in his life, he was able to take a month or two and go out there and collaborate with them and make all these videos. But now he's old and decrepit and broken and pathetic and he's whipped and he's going to give reasons why he can't just do that anymore. And the reason that is given is so pathetic, so shameful that it just makes me shudder to even think of uttering such words. It's crazy. Like, when I was hanging out with Chad and Max and George. <laughs> Cycle said when the peg hits. It really is when the peg hits, yeah. And then in whatever it was, 2016 or 2015, uh, I, was, I just said, f*** it. And I was like, all right, I'm going to f***ing spend a month or two months over there. Mm -hmm. And it's like, now I got dogs. Yeah. <laughs> like, he has, he has dogs. He I like, can't. I like how he's like, I would leave you, but now I got a dog. Oh. Oh. Wouldn't she feed the fucking dog? He's a dog, dad. Oh. Well, but you got to remember, he can't separate <laughs> from Anissa. Even though for years their relationship was long distance and they could only spend like a few weeks together with each other at a time. Now, for the last few years, they haven't spent any time away from each other whatsoever. Yeah. So she can't just stay at home and take care of the pets while Ian goes and makes good content and provides for the family. No, 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 no. He needs to stay there and take mm -hmm. care of his dogs. And Anissa is going to break it down in just an even more psychotic and insane like <laughs> mental illness way. This is where the mental illness part of this segment really starts to kick into full gear. Oh, and by the way, people are saying Anissa is the dog. Well, KinoFan12 says, if only you could hire people to take care of your dogs while away or something, Anissa's going to give the objection to that. Because it's like, oh, well, you could just, you know, send them to the dog babysitter or hire somebody to come around. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Okay. Bare minimum, I got dogs that, like, need my attention. And I think that's, like, something that's kind of... Because when dogs don't live very long... And a month, two months is like a big. What the f are you serious? Stop. This is crazy. Listen, a month, two months is a big chunk out of their lives, and we need to prioritize the dog's life over our lives to where they're running the show, and we can't be away from them for any period of time. Portion out of yeah. a, a dog's life. Uh -huh. Um. And I have anxiety about that. Like, even when we leave for two weeks, I'm like, Blitz is like nine. Mm -hmm. And so me leaving for two weeks is like... This, I don't is, know, this is unhinged. He looks like he's been held hostage. He is. He is, he is being it, held yeah. hostage. <laughs> this is your life. Like, imagine you signed up for this. Like, you, you, you were just willingly like, you know what? I'm going to just go for it. I'm just going to allow this crazy woman to dictate every aspect of my life to the point where we can't separate because, well, what about the dog? The dog is going to miss you, and it's a substantial portion of his life. Think about it. It's 2.1% of his life. It's not even. It's so stupid. Yeah. So what? You're not going to hang out with your friends ever again because oh. you got a dog and it's like 0.5% of their it life. It really is a weak generation. Like this it's is madness. brutal. Nobody Locked. would think like this 20, 30 years ago. Nobody. It's manipulation. Yeah. It's complete manipulation. And you know that she put this in his head and that's why he is saying it. It yeah. feels like a lot. When I go into the bathroom, I don't uh -oh. know if I've shared this with you. I have a very shy bladder. Okay. Alone in the bath? Like, no. So <laughs> he's he's saying when he goes into the public washroom, oh, public, he okay. get he gets scared to pee. Still, that's like because he's intimidated you, by the other men. No, that's what he's gonna say. What are you a child? <laughs> Specifically, <laughs> what are you a child? When it comes to urinals. Yeah, I think you've in passing shared it. In this passing way. shared it, yeah. So uh sometimes it's Why really are you hard. telling us this? Why uh, are you telling us this? This is something 
It's so embarrassing. But especially when there's just like a lot of activity. Mm -hmm. I'm like really heightened. I could hear people like strolling in, sauntering, whistling, <laughs> slapping their... I Whoa! Oh, being like scared of the other men in the washroom. Oh, this, like, this is so sad. Man. This is so emasculated. This that... is so down bad. Oh my god! There's a guy whistling. Is he gonna me? Like, does I does? Is somebody in chat asked this? Does he pee like butters? Like, does he drop trout <laughs> pants around his ankles? Hey there, Mister Wiener. What do you know? Do you need to tinkle, tinkle? Yes, I do think so. And he's afraid that somebody's just gonna come violate his bum hole if if they walk in. Like, what's going on he here, sits bud? Down. Uh, he must because he's afraid of the urinal, man. Yeah. Buddy's on the back as they're passing by each stall. I'm like, I hope they don't slap me on the back. <laughs> like, just really uncomfortable. Like, almost like locker room environment sometimes. Yeah. Why is he okay. so scared of the locker room? Yeah, what happened yeah, yeah, yeah. to him in the locker room? He hates man. the locker room. He hates urinals. The tears like form in his <laughs> eyes like so easily, man. Look at that. That's every the... single time. It's like he's like just like experiencing so much trauma, so much duress. There's pain behind these eyes. He was bullied in high school ruthlessly in the locker room. Yeah. Uh, and that's it at its worst. Someone said prey eyes. <laughs> it is prey uh, eyes, man. He is like the prey of the bathroom. Like, <laughs> and I didn't even realize that there was like a predator prey dynamic to the washroom before, to tell you the truth. Like, I didn't think it was a kill or be killed situation. <laughs> like, or be raped in the locker room. But I guess for him, <laughs> it is. If there's a guy next to me, it's also like, eh, whatever. But it's like a compounding effect. If I, if someone pulls in next to me, it's like, okay, I, I need to regain like composure. Mm. Oh, whoa, 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 His, his, <laughs> him peeing, him peeing, he's like doing a, um. This is unhinged mental illness. Like, 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 on a video game where you have to press, uh, Quick like time events. It's a, yeah, he has to do a quick time heavy rain style like thing, and then if he oh. fucks up, he has to restart. He may as well just go sit on the toilet, sit down to pee at this <laughs> point, man. Like, if you're feeling this level of visceral stress at the urinal, where if a guy rocks up to you, you go, oh my god, I gotta regain my composure. Oh god, please help me. Help me, Lord. <laughs> like, this is not normal. It's the quick time event. It's so funny. The other side Hold R2. No, L2. R1. Oh, no. I slept. I'm like, all right. I need a freaking focus. You need a piss I, here. I have to. Whoa. Oh, yeah, that's crazy. Oh, no, focus. Help. Oh, my God. Oh, I got to piss. No, oh. no, 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 no. This is like, why does he do this? It's not just Anissa that overshares and like felts him with embarrassing stories. He does it to himself. At this point, you just like, you have to imagine this is a humiliation kink or fetish or yeah. something is going on here that's mm -hmm. not quite right because who does this? <laughs> you know? If people are asking, why would anyone broadcast this to the world? Your guess is as good as mine. Well, Bobby's saying she trained him like that. <laughs> she mind broke him. Yep. Because he didn't used to do this before she go was with him. He was very protective of his private life. But I was like, I need to go to a different place because I'm too distracted. Mm -hmm. What? So he used <laughs> to think of Disneyland? Okay, guys, I want everybody in chat to think of where iDubs has to go, like where he has to mentally visualize. Like a lot of people say, think of Disneyland, think of Disneyland. Where does he have to go to overcome the trauma of having to pee at the urinal? Okay. Um... Yes. Is it Anissa's like sex dungeon, Anissa's bondage dungeon where the peg comes out for him? Somebody's saying his grandma's house, <laughs> Ricada's sex dungeon is an option, um... the pee therapist. Oh. The Filthy Frank Channel, Australia, the Cuck Chair, uh, the tr <laughs> divorce, divorce Court. court? <laughs> divorce Court? <laughs> he has to think uh, of Anissa's grave. He's thinking of Anissa's grave. He visualizes the yeah. tombstone of yeah. Anissa. Yeah. It's like her. Tell us <laughs> me land. McDonald's. You'll never guess. It's and they, even right. uh, even Anissa calls him out on this. Is like you're full. You're full of shit. Where I went. 
<laughs> um, cuddling with Fiona. No, that wouldn't make you want to piss. That's weird. That's weird. Weirdly close. Really? What? What? Okay, wait. So, cuddling with your dog makes you want to piss. <laughs> what? Oh, pardon me. Yeah, <laughs> I wouldn't. Not cuddling with anyone. Okay. Um. Talking to Blitz. Shrek's Swamp. <laughs> tell me lies, tell me sweet little lies. He was looking oh, kind of dumb lies. with his finger and his thumb with the shape, shape of, of an, an L, L on his, his forehead. forehead. Well, the L's keep coming and the O's stop coming. <laughs> and he's he just he felting. He, he and then he <laughs> He has to visualize Shrek swamp. <laughs> yeah, Shrek swamp. That's where I went. And by God, it fucking worked. As soon as I imagined that I was in Shrek swamp, I was like, holy fuck, like everything else disappeared. Wait, in the Keemstar content comp, apparently he uses the Smash Mouth intro, uh, intro as well. Wow, we're tying it all up, you know? Chow Bang says she's never seen him happier. You know? <laughs> I was like, You've this never is seen her happier. No one has. She gets the most happy when I Dubs is just utterly humiliated, just like buck broken, defeated, embarrassing himself. That's when she's happiest. Oh, I get it, Fiona. Brutal, like in Shrek. And then, like, I forgot no, it I last time I went. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Every time she only laughs or smiles. You're right when she's felting him or he's felting himself. She's like, life rules. In the bathroom at the And then when he's happy, she's like, I'm reverting to a five-year-old. Could you stop being happy? Yep. Or, yeah. And then it like dawned on me as I was like sitting there struggling. And I was like, oh, sh what? sitting there. Wait a minute. Whoa. He admitted. Whoa. He admitted he was sitting down to pee. Whoa. Exposed. Whoa. Sitting Whoa. there struggling. Whoa. Boom. Sitting down to pee alert. Sitting down to pee alert. Shut it no. down. Look at his Wait. face there as he realizes that he admitted he sat down to pee. You're a pee sitter? <laughs> Wait, so he's pee sitting and he still has bladder stage so, fright? Remember, so somehow Whoa. he went through three episodes of this now. He went from the boy who blows to the boy who socks, to now he's the boy who, who sits, sits to pee. The boy who sits, blows, and socks. Did you, like, catch that when you were editing? No, did I did not. I, I did yeah. not. You I know, nailed it. I know, because, like, like, a bunch of stuff, like, it's hard to focus sometimes when you're editing, yeah. like, garbage. Are you, like, sort of, like... But, Ashton, you found... Like, you're, like, the detective who took a picture of, like... A certain the, angle, and then yeah. I'm the other one who's like, "Wait, wait a minute! It right solves there. the murder." You know? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. There's something behind the cabinet. Shrek yeah. <laughs> swamp Hang dawned on. on me as I was like sitting there struggling. I'm struggling, sitting there struggling. This is crazy. I was like, "Oh, Shrek swamp." Clip channel. I dubs admits he sits to pee. I dubs admits he sits to pee. Headline. Well, wait a minute, because I, I, it actually gets even worse. Like, I don't know if that's even the headline of the episode, oh. because at one point it gets to where Anissa is getting felted by herself. So. Oh, okay. And I'm pretty sure you can't make your title someone sitting to pee. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's... you can. Uh, <laughs> you know, he sits to go wee wee. And he sits to go wee wee. Just everything fucking just became quiet. It's so hard for me to believe that this that, that was a like, thing. Like you didn't write this. I did not fucking write this. I knew that I needed to explain it, and it would be fucking funny. Yeah. Uh, but.
It's funny just, for all the wrong reasons. I dubs. I dubs you idiot. Anissa's just a, husband. Like Anissa's husband. Like this guy's brutal. Just say it's a bit, man. Just just say it's a bit for I the love kidding. of God. Jeez. I was kidding. Just kidding. She's like, please tell me that's not real. He goes, no, it was. It was 100% real. Is no. this like a segue into the Apple conversation? Apple conversation. Yeah. Get ready. It's I the remember- Apple conversation. I was waiting for this one, folks. Oh, man. The Apple convo. You wanted to Because t- for Apple me, conversation. just for me, my brain doesn't visualize anything. Mm-hmm. Oh. Okay. We're at this point. Anissa is unable to visualize anything in her brain. <laughs> her brain does not work. She is not able to see an apple at all. At all. In her mind's eye. Her I mind's could, eye does not exist. I could literally make like a perfect apple. It's full on NPC like, mode. I can like, 3D. I can move. I can head to the top bird's eye view it. Like, you know? So the Yeah, it's Aphantasia, and that's actually what the episode was called was Aphantasia Anisa. Because yeah. this goes on and it's so crazy. She yeah, she has no soul, rotted brain. Oh like I, I I've these seen people the walk amongst us, they exist. So I've seen the image. Here here's the image. Um Yes. So she top. is a five. She can't even imagine the outline of the apple. Yeah, I'm a one. I can, yeah. I, I, I imagine the shine. I imagine the texture. I imagine the table well, it's on. I imagine the room and, it's in. Like. And so is I dubs. Like in order to be a creative person or come up with any concepts yeah. at all, mm-hmm. you need to be able to envision things. And what's really startling is the way she explains this stuff, like like the way she explains what daydreaming is for her. And she goes like, if you can just come up with ideas and moving pictures in your head, why do you even go to the movies? She says <gasps> like, this is just like crazy. Whoa. It's crazy. This is actually the most unhinged mental illness. And it actually freaked me out. And as this goes on and on and on, I just kept, as I was, I said this to Andy earlier. I said, as this guy is editing this, I just kept saying, this is so fucked. This is so bad. This is so fucked. This is this actually is- nuts. Yeah. I can't imagine not imagining. Like, I mean, it's crazy. I just said that. Um, no, but my dreams too are so vivid. Like I could feel textures. Like it's just like crazy, right? Um, I can't imagine. I can actually close my eyes and imagine this image that that's on the screen. Yeah, I, of course you. I I no, can see all the ready. apples. No, I can no, see everything. That's so crazy. Like he asks her about memories, and she doesn't have memories. She that, can't what? like. She, no, she can't. Like you'll see. She doesn't Ooh. have she doesn't have memories. Someone in chat said four gang. Let's Imagine, just hit play. Like We're gonna four? get through it. The cons- like outlines? Is that a thing? Except of you. Oh no, this isn't meant to but, but the app, that's interesting. It's I didn't hard. know that you thought I was yeah, because the Apple conversation is on my going. list as well. Yeah. <laughs> this is a ghost apple. Thing. I didn't it's know hard. that you thought I was yeah, because the Apple conversation is on my going. list as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. And so I had someone, I, I tried to go to someone who could help me study, and they did the Mind Palace thing. Look at his so, face. Okay. He's, he's like <laughs> rattled. So Anissa, somebody who's unable to have an imagination or visualize anything, enrolled at university for art history. And she's and the story was so convoluted and so rambling. It went on for like six minutes, the story. So I just cut it to here. Okay. But essentially, she went to study for an art history test. The art history test was 200 different paintings. And you had to memorize these paintings, and there were two of them were going to be on the test, and you had to, like, describe the paintings or whatever, okay? And she was unable to remember any of the paintings. Wow. And wow. so the, the friend, like, does the Mind Palace, like, Apple experiment, and that's when she realized that she had no ability to visualize anything. Okay. 
And I thought that they were like just talking out of their ass mm. because I couldn't imagine a world right. where well, I you can't imagine the world because it's all dark. Yeah. Could envision things. A, yeah. A, an, uh, envision anything, let alone a, an intricate house. Yeah. Right. Pardon me? What the f are you talking about? So, Even people who don't have strong, like, imaginations, no people have imagination. They'll just go, I don't have as much of that uh, so imagination I, as you or whatever. Io you know? goes, so she doesn't read. And this actually gets brought up. So Idubs is like, what happens when you read? And she doesn't form images of what she's reading. What the f It's like beyond brain dead. It's just insane. This is the thing. This, this, this like insect, this like creature that is unable to visualize anything in their brain is iDub's God, is iDub's master, runs iDub's life. Right? How did this happen? How did he get enslaved by this person? I don't get that. Like, oh, uh, I've also had a therapist do it to me for um, storing trauma that right, I can't. Right. Like, like let go of what do they um, say about the people who can't visualize anything like is it like a low iq thing is it a brain problem I, is it like a, a block what is I it i don't know but look at him he's like really disgusted and concerned he should be yeah I, i'm he scared actually yeah and i it's, someone said they are serial killers serial killers <laughs> they are demons in human skin they are skinwalkers they're like aliens like whoa you know like i i want to like so hard for me okay so my th we should talk about what the apple thing is first i feel like yeah yeah okay well i was just gonna say like for those of you the deep who breath. haven't heard of it it's <laughs> been making the rounds over the past year the idea of like being able to picture things in your head. The last year. The idea. But, it's, okay, anyway. And the example that they're using is like an apple, mm -hmm. in this case, in this common like meme format. It's not a meme, it's just an image. Uh, but it shows like different stages of what, or different versions of what people might be able to picture in their head. And on one of the end of the spectrum, you have someone like Anissa, based on her description, that there's like nothing going on in there. There's no visuals there's at all. Nothing going on in her Whoa. brain. And she nods. Yes, there is nothing going on in my head, sir. Like the mental illness here is insane. Like these people. How do these people function on a day to day basis? I'm like reading this shit now. I'm like aphantasia, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I also saw that. Um, what's his name? Whoa! John hear this. Here's possible reasons, head injuries, mm -hmm. stroke, and right? non-medical drug use, uh, mood <laughs> disorders, or well, that adds up. depersonalization or derealization disorder. Yeah, depersonalization, derealization. I mean, she's going to basically admit to like derealization. Oh, at okay. one point, I don't know if she thinks this makes her like special or cool, and that's why she's saying it, or if she actually has this affliction. That's this is crazy. Falstaff I'm goes, green. but how did she think she was a werewolf witch then? When yeah, you refer back, yeah, like it's all bullshit. Also tweeted out about it mm -hmm. and said like, oh yeah, picturing things. What the hell is this shit? Yeah. Uh, also nothing. And uh, I'm on the spectrum, on the completely other end well, of the spectrum, where it's like... It says here that you could think about what you're thinking about, but you can't see it. So, like, you're thinking about an apple, but you can't see it. You're just, like, thinking, like, your, your dialogue's like, apple, apple. Yeah, I'm talking yeah. about an apple, apple. But there's no apple in front of you. You can't, like, put it on in front of you. So, yeah, that's what it is. The apple can literally be whatever the fuck I want it to be. That's insane. 3D, photorealistic, yeah. undulating. I'm picturing it right now Slice. as I'm saying it to you. That's it's split in half. There's a worm coming out of it. What do you what mean this fuck? Like, how do you think art is made? Whatever the fuck I want it to be. And this it can is be. crazy. She majored in art, but was unable to do this. I'm telling you, like, I don't want to spoil this stuff, but it's really crazy, some of the stuff that she says during this. Like, 
like, not, not, like not just crazy, like crazy. It's like actually like crazy, like send her to the asylum. Okay. Like, separate her from the rest of society for the safety of others and herself. Yeah, and Atcast says she's making him feel self conscious about and weird about being creative. What the f are you talking about? No, is that what it is? Is that her tactic? So that if she she's trying to make him feel like he's the weirdo for being able to be creative, so that his creative process is stifled and he becomes even more dependent on her? Is Maybe. that what's going on? That's psychotic. Whoa. Why do you watch movies? If you can just Listen. do all that shit in your head, make your own movies. Everywhere. Well, that's what daydreaming is. What? That's literally what daydreaming is. <laughs> I'll be sitting in the fucking classroom, right? Like that's I don't do you know I what? think some people call it ADHD or I'm not I don't I'm not sure what people would classify it as, but I was like in school picturing like like me having different like X Men powers and like what I would fucking how I'd fucking chop people up with my look at her face pause or, bring it back bring it back look at how look at how fucking concerned she is at yeah. the idea that somebody could think like that. Like, what like it's I would... something that just never occurred to her. Like at no point in her life has she ever been able to like, I don't know, like I would daydream about like playing sports and like winning and like, you know, certain like, like you know, fantasies. Or, and even, stuff like or that. even extraordinary things like putting your hand, like lighting it on fire and then you yeah. can use it like a torch. Like, or like flying or no, like, like, you know, like even extraordinary, like unrealistic things I could think like, right. Isn't that like dreaming? You so know? she doesn't dream. She doesn't have dreams either. You know, like one of the most fascinating lucid dreams I ever had was I was staring at a wall. I was in a room and I was able to snap my fingers. And anytime I snapped it, the wall would be like a, a different texture. It'd be like, like zebra snipe, uh, stripes, like blue, and then like a cloud. And then like whatever, like and I was just like doing this, and it was like my, it was faster than what I could think of. I was just like doing this, like whoa, that's furry, and then it's like snow, and then it's like it was crazy. Like, that was nuts. Uh, I mean, someone asked, "Did you dream about eating the hundred sushi rolls?" Yeah. Well, I had to come up with the idea of eating the hundred sushi rolls. I visualized it, and then I went and ate the hundred sushi rolls. Furry like, meaning the, like the, the wall was furry. Sorry. But like this, like this idea that you've never in your life ever experienced any form of daydream or dream or visualization in your mind, like it ter it actually scares me. It's crazy. That, that this is like a person that's like this. Like look, she like she's looking like at somebody like the, she's looking like the caveman who saw the other caveman invent fire for the first time. Or like a Native American that when the Europeans came and fired a gun, thought they were gods. This is the level of realization that she's having in this moment. How I'd fucking chop people up what? with my there. claws. Pause. Or oh my god, that where she's like even more down to the side with her head. It's crazy. She's actually, like shocked. This is the thing. Yeah. Or like. Do you know what daydreaming is for me? Huh. It's like everything going blurry like around me my surroundings and then music that i remember playing in my head that is it what the is that how a daydreaming is that's just like is it just thinking of music that's disassociation. Even I, it was like a monk, like in her mind, it's like a monkey with symbols. You know, like, ding, like, ding, oh. ding. Oh, oh, oh. I'm saying like, this is unhinged mental illness. It's crazy. Her brain's on hold. Oh. <laughs> is that what it, you're describing? He goes, he goes, are you dissociating? Is that what you're describing? Like <laughs> the mental illness knows no bounds. <laughs> How is, I know, how are people like Anissa allowed to vote? How are they allowed to drive? How are they, how are they allowed to, like, be a member of society? <laughs> I literally thought that's yeah. what that was. No. I, I. That is interesting. No, daydreaming is just like using your imagination, kind of. I can use my imagination, but not to see things. Okay, I have a test for you. Because what does that mean? Is She's it... going to explain. Okay, okay. I have a theory that we 
I'm probably wrong on this theory, so I'll just put it out there. Mm. I'm, I'm curious how many people in the audience actually uh, this phenomenon uh, happens to them. Mm. I guess lack of phenomenon. I don't know what it is. I'm so scared of what this test is. Uh, so you say yeah. your position is that you cannot picture anything in your head. No. Mm -hmm. There's not... So what happens when Booker. you think back to, like, memories, as an example? Extreme like, feelings. What the f***? That's so f***ing f***. What do you mean? If that's true. If that's true, that's just... It's just absolute Looney Tunes. Like, cuckoo, 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 okay. cuckoo. Wait, so I have new cats, right? I could shut my eyes and think of earlier when I was with them and petting them. Yeah, I, can, I know. And it's a brand new cat that I just met a few days ago because it's brand new. And I know exactly where the fur patches is. I can shut my eyes and I see them, right? Yeah. So what? When the dog's not in the room, you can't close your eyes and picture the fucking dog? That's what she's saying. She's How? gonna actually she's gonna verbatim actually say what she just said. So she's gonna say that if she's given if when she was in art school. If she was given a reference of a dog, she could draw the dog. But if she was just asked to draw a dog without a reference, she was unable to draw a dog. Okay. What if they handed her the reference, she looked at it, like, then don't they you took develop away the object reference. permanence at four years old? Yeah. What? You can't, like, look Everybody at the dog Everybody is picture? saying she's just a lying sack of you shit. You think so? People's explanation is that she was, like, molested. Like, the people who are buying into this are saying she was definitely molested. Or Other her, people like, are just saying she's lying to be a quirk chungus. But, like, is she on that level of, like, actress? Because like, she genuinely did look so shocked when Ian revealed to her what daydreaming was that I, I struggle to believe that she faked that. No, I've, I've heard. No, this is, this is a thing Others that are saying she's just stupid. This is a thing that actually happens to people, though. So it's possible. So, like, when we went on the cruise. Yeah. Right? This is uh, wild. Can you picture general? Wait, someone in chat says they have this. And they don't. It's not like that. So what Who is, is it? I'm going to ban them. It's Isla Mal. <laughs> I see that. I'm not really what like <laughs> okay go back five seconds because you have to listen to this this one is so shocking that it just blew my mind yeah right uh can you picture generally what like the pool area looked like in your head N no i could no no i can i can tell you that there were a lot what do you mean she okay. doesn't. This is a like, lie. This has to be a lie. Can like I? It's just so different than my reality that you struggle to believe that it could really be true. Like the only thing would be like for me would be I remember. So like, can you remember? Like for instance, like when, like I can remember like when we go into that hotel in London for the boxing match. I remember the pool. Yeah, I the remember the pool. Thing there, the sauna with I the cross. I remember the it. the lobby. What the desk of the lobby looked like. Yeah, like you know, beige -ish the, floors. Yeah, and, like the over to the left of the room was like the spa room yeah. and stuff like that. Like maybe how can details, you, certain details. You might be like, what what. What texture was that? But it would be like so deep in the like the piano room was right there. You know, like yeah, you could visualize it. Even when I was a kid, bro. Like I remember my cousin's like old basement, like where all like like all the video games was. And this was like his like second last house. I could oh, the couch was there. I remember what texture it was. I know what the TV was, you know. What is she talking about? The pool shape? It's just unhinged. It's insane. She, she should be locked up. Waves in the pool, but not because I can see that. It's what I have stored in my memory as a thing, right? Interesting. So the hot tub was not hot, and there were a lot of waves in the pool. So weird. That's like what my memory will tell you. I can't uh, tell you what. Okay, what about this? Okay. What about this? How about uh, this? Give her a pen and go... Draw the shape of the pool. Yeah. Start there. Just start simple. Yeah. Um, Dudley looked a lot like Uncle Vernon. <laughs> he had a large pink face, not much neck, 
small, watery blue eyes, and thick, blonde hair that lay smoothly on his thick, fat head. Yes. You just pictured something. No, but no? I understand what the thing is. Like, I... It's what do you mean? It's hard to explain. But you can picture it if you want to. No. I know that it's a blonde boy, oh. right? So oh. He's blown away. He's rattled, dude. You can't even, like, take reference. Blonde guy. Think of a blonde person you've seen before. And then reference that to be your, you know what I mean? You can't even reference blonde, short, fat, uh, like, like, no, like, no. He shares The bell is so hard, you can't even hear it. It's like transcended heart alert. Like, we're beyond. It's information. So, you, so wait, you know what a blonde boy looks like, though. Exactly, that's my point, yeah. Reference. I don't, it's a- What? Oh. Okay, lie, lie. There's no way. So, you're a goldfish? Is she like, blind? <laughs> like, is she blind? <laughs> what is she talking about? Is she losing her mind? Ashton, you're right. This is like the craziest thing. No, I, I'm saying, man. It's like you go, oh, well, the uh, title should be I Dub Sits Down to Pee. He's like, you know what a blonde person looks like, right? Well, that but doesn't happen in my head. If I look at someone, I go, you're blonde. I know that you're blonde, but I'm not like, I'm not thinking of a blonde wig. You can't think of a blonde wig? Is okay. I Dub's hitting X to doubt at this point? I, I think I, he, he, he should be. He should be. He knows this is a lie. In my head, 360 or whatever. You well, you just described, and that popped in my head. I'm yeah, you see, even he's like, yeah, you just described the blonde wig. So weren't you thinking about it when you were describing it? Uh -huh. Picturing a fucking I blonde wig. I'm actually mad. I'm rattled right now. Rotating. That's what you do, but I absorb this. Is, I don't know if this is related, mm -hmm. but a lot of our like arguments in the past have been based on... Not a lot. Pause. Some okay, wait, hold on. This... Bring it back. Hold on. Bring it back. Okay, okay. Bring it back. Right. He goes, a lot of our arguments in the past. So he's admitting to having a lot of arguments with her. Yeah. And then he has to walk it back and go, oh, so, so. So anyway, by the way, we got a couple super chats came in. Let's go. We got Sir Marhouse for five saying, recent studies which mainstream scientists don't want to touch shows that aphantasia is highly linked to low IQ and not reading at an early age. It's more common in the Americans that play basketball. Oh, okay. And I cucks for five says, is Ian pressing her on visualization the closest time Ian has had to a W on the podcast? You'd think that, but it's still an L because he married this person. Yeah. <laughs> and is submissive to this person <laughs> like worships them and lets them walk all over him like it's psychotic i think even someone who can't visualize something and you said draw an apple they could draw an apple right right like even if you can't close your eyes and imagine the apple you could draw the shape of an apple if i say draw draw a heart you can't draw it. It's like you raced until you see a heart. The f are you talking about? It's a feeling. Well, Vulcan's saying this is why she gets flash tattoos. She, she can't imagine art. She can't come up with any concepts in her head of what she might like. I don't know if this is related, mm -hmm. but a lot of our like arguments in the past have been based on... Not a lot. Some have been based on this oh, idea. Oh. He's walking on eggshells <laughs> so bad. Oh, man. <laughs> is describing the way that she is feeling. Mm -hmm. And she'll use... Speaking of visualization, whenever someone says that phrase, walking on eggshells, I actually imagine walking on like a ton of eggs. <laughs> like, <laughs> actually, just, like, I just always... And it's smashing. You know. You know what I'm imagining? You know what I'm visualizing Ooh. right now? A lot of subs coming in. Yeah. I'm visualizing, visualizing a 20 sub bomb coming in right now. 20 sub Will bomb. it become real? Will we be able to manifest 20 subs coming in right now? <laughs> I imagine it'll be one sub. Yo, wait, wait. Every, a ton of people in chat are saying they think of the same thing. 
when they hear walking on eggshells. I always imagine those gray <laughs> cartons that you buy, like the big ones, and a ton of them, like like a floor, and you're like trying to walk. And it's, that's why. Sorry. Uh, Nolan Prop goes, that's what you're supposed to think of, Andy. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough, but. All right, here we go like what I would consider false or like objectively like lying but like I would be like you're lying you're lying to me uh, based yeah. on what you're saying and she's not like I'm <laughs> he's, always, he's always saying that she's lying yeah this is basically him admitting that Anissa gaslights him and tries yeah. to manipulate his version of reality all the time you're just lying to me it's just objectively untrue Lipstick Larry has donated one sub. One I'm, sub. I'm visualizing Lipstick Larry getting timed out for 10 minutes. Yeah. Terracotta says, oh, no, PPP, your manifestation lost focus. I'm manifesting a permanent ban for those who don't donate. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much, Lipstick Larry. Thank you, everyone. I'm not lying. That's the way it makes me feel. And yeah. then, but her way of describing the way it makes her feel is by using these like uh, objectively like incorrect thing. I'm not trying incorrect, to but, like, put you in your to, shoes to see, to see what. Yes, but gaslighting. Did she admit to Look gaslighting? At it, yeah, she's just admitting to gaslighting. She's I'm like, just testing I'm trying, you. <laughs> I'm trying to change your reality to be what I want it to be. You understand? It's about how I feel is what real reality is, and not the objective facts, Ian. Like I'm not like this would eventually like break mm. even the strongest of men. Like you just like w being wore down with this bullshit every single day of your life, and, then and there's just no escape. You just can't <laughs> leave because your dogs might miss you. Like this is the hell that he's just chained himself to. Put you in your to, shoes to see, to see what. Yes, but but my seeing is like when I have dreams. Or when I'm reading something, it's almost like I'm trying to figure out how to describe it. I'm feeling what the person is feeling. Mm -hmm. The liar. What is that? Even? No Stop. way. So she's feeling the feels of the story, but not she what? can't envision the story. That makes no this sense. Is, she's trying to say that she's like a quirky empath. I'm like an empath. Oh, a quirk jungle. That doesn't make any. Sense that makes no sense. The observations that they are making, right? I'm not like a removed mm -hmm. person or like visually thinking about, yeah, it's like a it's experiencing like my memories, and my memories are like, like I can feel very hard. Like, if I were to like Jeez. put myself okay. back in the statement, I can feel very hard. Look at her here, zoom in, enhance, buddy. This is like insane. <laughs> it looks like she's taking a load to the face. <laughs> she's feeling very hard. Yeah, very hard. She can yay. feel something. Oh. Like being a kid that was like hiding under my covers because like I had a really bad day at school. Like nothing of that is visual, mm -hmm. but it's like like very vivid feeling. Wow. That for me is just like the polar opposite. Yeah, that's crazy. It is like all visual and like zero feel. I okay, that's crazy too. You can't remember how you felt in the no, memory? Just, okay. As I said, this is the unhinged mental illness edition of the Anissa and I, which is, you think it's like every episode, Wait. but this episode in particular, it's just wild. So Ian is unable to remember how he feels. Is he a psychopath? Like, does he just not have emotions? Does he not have feelings? Is that what he's trying to well, say? Well, think about, like, a moment that you were terrified. Like, you know, like a scary, like, situation in your life. Almost in a car accident, for example, right? You could visualize when the car, you know, skidded off the road or, right? And you could remember, holy f that was terrifying, right? Yeah. Right? Yeah, you can remember, you can visualize fucking and coming. And going, that was awesome. You know, like, what are you talking about? I don't feel anything. 
Young oh, okay. Chrysler says this is the autistic boyfriend BPD girlfriend dynamic. Yeah. Uh huh. That I can't. Yeah. Maybe like, he does block out his emotions though. Right? Yeah, he's lying because of the locker room. Yeah. And he just said earlier in this very video, he's like, I, I get terrified to pee. And like he remembers can... the fear that he felt when other men were around him. Yeah. And he was... Like, I feel okay. like I could almost transport myself back there. Weird. Feeling wise. Weird, yeah. weird, weird. But not visually. I can't remember. Right. I'm not For those really of you who don't know, Anise is face blind. I have a that really bad That will time. probably be a common theme <laughs> that you guys. Face oh. blind? Face blind. Okay, that sounds made up. Let's hear it. As we'll learn. Ian made fun of me for thinking that... Um, Jim Carrey. I thought Jim Carrey and Ryan Reynolds were the same person. Stop it! Okay, this is... Shut it down. Yeah, this Shut is... Shut it down. There is nobody in the world that thinks Jim Carrey and Ryan Reynolds are the same person. Ever. The mental illness is beyond. The mental illness is outrageous. It's not even like, they're not even like similar, are they? At all. Oof. Couldn't be. I don't think Which that. of us do you relate to as far as the picturing things in your head go? I, please tell me Dane's like. He's like, ah, Dane, like, restore sanity, please, Dane. Please, Dane, Dane, come on. Who's? I relate to Ian the most. Oh, yes. shit. Team I, men. Now understanding why yeah. I in like art school. Okay. Anissa is like, oh, damn. He could think of things and remember things. It's like, that's 99.9% .9 of people in the world, I think. Yeah. I hope. Had to like draw, like, like if it was a still life, I, I did great. But if somebody was like, draw a dog <laughs> I can't do that dude that's crazy yeah but I can imagine in the real world like AR I can imagine AR an apple or like someone twerking on the table right now in front <laughs> of us can you imagine someone twerking on the no table in front of us? I can no I mean like I could imagine the scenario like that wait that doesn't make any sense. It would be a crazy scenario oh, if someone no, got up and started doing What are you talking about? So oh. hard to believe because it is so anti my reality. Yeah. <laughs> Ian believes that no one. Can't imagine that? What? So, I no believe one so now Anissa has to try and get control back because she's just been so devastatingly felted throughout the preceding 15, 20 minutes of the podcast through the Apple segment, that now she needs to make fun of and castrate iDubs again. So get ready. Anissa's going to get her dub back, she's everybody. She's a lying sack of shit. You can imagine her. the scenario, but not it happening? What does that even mean? Enjoys no one social is, activities. Yes. No, no one enjoys going uh, out to like water parks and like uh, all that shit. Ian's like, that's all fake. Parties, socializing. You think people have convinced themselves that they like it, but no one actually right. likes it. Because I want to talk. Okay, to they're broken human beings. This like, is crazy. imagine how broken you are to believe that nobody enjoys partying. The water that park. That nobody enjoyed. No, the get ready. We're about to go into a five minute segment on the water park. Stop. Which water doesn't even make any sense. Fun. About X. Okay, so now okay. we're in the X segment. Oh, no. But, you know, I dub such just a completely broken human being just because he, you know, he can't empathize with others. He can't understand why people would like talking to their friends because he's never had any friends because he's a loser. Okay. But now we're in the segment of the show where these two are going to tell us about their icks. What turns them off about uh, other people. Okay. iDubbbz at one point is going to demonstrate an ick for Anissa. But the ick that we're going to be told... Like, okay. I, I just want to say the ick that they first come up with here is in no world an ick that has ever occurred to anybody ever. Because the ick that they're saying is the water park is an ick. Okay. What, because, like, people pee in the pool? No. No. Okay. Okay. 
So uh, an ick that you came up with, or maybe we saw online, was like waiting in line at a water park. Yeah, we, like saw that. That yeah we saw that online. Waiting in line okay. at the water park is an ick. I would get if you were like, you know, you're like a uh, germaphobic, or you were like disgusted by like the thought of. But the line at the water park. What about lines in general? And is that an ick? What the f is an ick, Ash? It's like okay, so. I know it's, it's it, supposed to like like you're like it's like a, it's like a big turn off. Turn I don't off. Know. Turn like off. Like if yeah. like if for instance, if you're a guy and your woman's like always like asking about your money and like trying to yeah. get your money, like being a gold digger, like it that's annoys an you. Ick. It's an ick, yeah. Or like you know certain things like that are an ick. Or um, like if you're a man and you like you know you, you get kissed by another man like a girl could be icked out by that yikes you know what i mean like i don't know okay like wait. it's a deal breaking turn off a turn up okay but a lot the line that doesn't fall into that definition that's what i'm saying like i don't understand what they're talking about so if you see somebody waiting in line at the water park <laughs> it makes you not sexually attracted to them okay Okay, man, that one's crazy. Cause like I relate to that from the perspective of like being a guy waiting in line right. at a water park. Like you knew subconsciously that women around you were getting the ick. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Holy! <laughs> this is and, actually crazy. And the self felt of the day goes to Ian. For declaring that <laughs> he could tell that subconsciously all the women around him in the water park were getting turned off, that his presence was an ick to all the women at the water park. Oh God! Yeah. Okay. I feel like, a, like, unless you're like an absolute, like, no, oh. even if you're a unit, mm. even if you're some giant fucking muscular dude. What the f is he talking about? I think it's like <laughs> Are the girls in the line or are they in like, are they standing outside the water park and going, what a loser hanging at the water park? Imagine what the being fuck are you this talking about? insecure and this neurotic about every experience in your life. <laughs> so, so, oh, <laughs> yeah, it's DBDR syndrome. This is super crazy. Like Worse waiting in line. Dude. Yeah, I know, I right? Swear. Yeah, it's like, what are you doing at the water park? Yeah. You shouldn't be here. You shouldn't be waiting in line. Yeah, Go in the fucking circular pool. Punching someone yeah. or something right now. Yeah, that's actually, to be honest, if you're at the water park, go to one that has a lazy river and just, mm -hmm. I think that's where you need to stay. That's how you avoid the ick. Yeah. I'm mad. Okay, Ash, don't all water parks have the lazy river, first of all? Okay, yeah, that's, like, okay. that's a must. Secondly, like, a girl sees you head down on a water slide and she goes, ew. Her, I guess. First of all, no, but, no, but it's they but it never say that. This is like a so non. We're supposed to say like, like, but they're gonna say like, if you're in your bathing suit, then nobody's turned on. Which it's just like, so nobody at the beach is turned on. Like, buddy, I. It's just nonsense. I don't even know what's going on. The late, the lazy river discussion that they start talking about is so batshit insane, so like off the wall crazy and unhinged. Mm -hmm. You could never guess. Chat, guess what they say about the lazy river. You'll never get it. Okay. But like what, it's what the lazy river No, no, what the lazy river represents in society. Oh, capitalism. No. Like it, <laughs> it, in terms of its like racial composition what yeah yeah it's racist exactly yeah get ready oh my god they got it yeah it's white people are bad yeah yeah but it's also the gross that is like a physical ick being yeah. in the fucking lazy river there's like turds floating down that, that that's a <laughs> dangerous really? place to be in yeah have you ever witnessed one i think so really? yeah the lazy river is like the place that everyone and their mom goes from my to experience take a dump? to just exist you know what i mean it's actually big i think it's I think I want to say it's white people culture. Whoa! It's white okay. people culture. Okay, you are the lazy river is white people culture. People go there to just exist. What about a resort? What about a you know the beach? 
What about the movies? What about uh, when you're sitting on yeah, your couch and just thinking I, or you're hearing exactly music? Exactly. Fart Elemental. Cartman sang the song about minorities in his water park. That's what I was thinking of with this. I think I want to say it's white people culture because mm. um, I did it a little bit growing up or it was a little bit part of my upbringing. Who the f*** are you? Yeah, I know. Like, 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 oh, you're white. Buddy, they, they're both white. Wake up, you're white. You're white. White alert, you're white. Re reality check. The reality f wrong check. With you? Oh, oh my God. Yeah, I that white people can afford to relax and do nothing, whereas everybody else is forced to toil from sun up to sun down on a plantation picking cotton or harvesting fruit. I mean, that's a, it's a, his idea of this is more racist than like actual race, like racists are. Like, this yeah. is like not even reality. I don't even know what he's talking about. Is yeah. like going to the river. That is, I I think that might be white people going culture because river. I had a friend going who... to the river is white people <laughs> culture. What? what? Hey guys, oh. me and my fellow whites. We're going to be heading down to the river today. You can't go, black people. I mean, camping is white culture, but I don't know if, like, going to the river or the lazy river, <laughs> the lazy river supremacy, the river racism. By the way, you know who heads to the river? Indian people. The river Ganges, and it's clogged with filth. Did you see, like, like, River Ganges is so polluted, but it's like their sacred holy river. Mm. And there was this official in India who wanted to prove that the water was pure and untainted. He drank, it's it. he drank it and he died. <laughs> oh, shit. I, I remember that. I remember that. It would take me, like, camping. Yeah. And that's it. They would just, like, float on the Down river. Down a river. That's yeah. just so weird. Yeah. I I want to ask is it? the viewers. Like, why is it so weird? You know what's Why weird? is it so when crazy the idea that kids. you would get on an inner tube and float? I, I, I oh, man. Okay, but, God. okay, but look at other cultures. Isn't it weird how you can insert any culture with anything they do and go, that's pretty strange they do that, you know? Like, to comment, like, if... Like lazy boy, not lazy boy. Oh, um, lazy river, or like like lounging on a river. In this an went on for so much longer than what I left in here, though. By the way, this is like a full like discussion for like ten minutes about like the lazy river and it's like part in colonialism in our past, like culture or not. I think it is. Yeah, waiting in line because because here's the thing: like you are fully exposed in you such a way that do. you're not like you're not used to being exposed yeah fully hey. uh not fully naked but you have your your drawers on mm -hmm. why is he uh, so insecure like yeah. why is he, i don't know like i have no problem and i'm like gargantuanly obese like walking around with my shirt off or like in my underwear like why is he so ashamed of himself and his body and so insecure all the time? Like, why is he, why are it, they it's, like this? It's a weird, like, it's a weird tick. Probably sopping wet. It's like a weird, like, yeah, it's like sopping strange. Wet. It's just like self-conscious, like, he, I bet you he talks into his, his like self, like, his dialogue in his brain is always doubting himself. Constantly. Yeah. I bet you it's constantly nitpicking everything. Yeah. You know, it's nitpicking full on everything. Neuroticism. Yeah. Neurotic, yeah. Wet. And cold. Sopping wet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and cold. Yeah. Is like even more vulnerable. Yeah, I, yeah. And that's what I think oh. of every time is like a wet dog waiting to get dried before coming into the house. You like know that's what's what I feel like though? I am waiting in that line. As you're oh. talking about this. The reverse, a woman waiting, I think is the opposite. I think men think that that's hot for the. Look at him. That's my reaction to. That's my reaction to. Um, well, Anissa, you're wrong. That's retarded. 
the opposite for the same thing, mm-hmm. opposite effect. I think it's like she's cold. She oh needs to be God. protected. Maybe it's I don't know. This it's chaos. This is chaos. We've hit like levels of like what? Like yeah. Like, it's like almost like because we've been trained. I wouldn't say fully opposite because I have. Mm. Oh, do you want? Oh, I'm so mad she got She's there. seething that her idea was shut down in any way. I wouldn't say fully opposite. Pardon me. We've been me. trained by society to find women shivering attract. Like, is anybody attracted to a woman shivering in the cold? No, I laugh. <laughs> I love <laughs> train. I wouldn't say fully opposite. I don't. Know. This is crazy. I have. Mm. Oh, do you want to continue? Uh, no, no, no. I like. D- I was just gonna yeah. ask. Like, so you, being honest, don't. you don't find it like kind of. Oh, it's, like, it's oh, kind it's of. It's better than the man. Okay. So that's where I'm Whoa. at. Oh, the side oh. eye. Look at that in the frame. <laughs> See, they got him. Oh with it yeah. anisa has her boss moments where yeah. she's dominant I'm, what I'm whoa, whoa, whoa whoa shut it down whoa, whoa shut, shut it, it down. down the elephant in the room has been addressed folks the invisible giant elephant that was like domineering over the entire room has been shouted out let's bring that back again and, and just that- listen to i dubs just just surrendering once again. You don't find it like kind of oh, it's like, it's, oh kind it's of it's better than the man. Okay. So that's where I'm at with it. Yeah. Anissa has her boss moments where yeah. she's dominant. I'm I'm cringe sometimes. Yeah. Also like, like she did Whoa. fucking uh <laughs> Whoa. There's just so much there. There's this it's just like boom, 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 boom. it's a combo fucking breaker. <laughs> it's uh, like, yeah. like like it's a tsunami oh, oh. of like what? Felt like <laughs> whoa. Uh, men's uh, sports That's growing up. True. Yeah. Literally played on men's teams. Yeah, I know. If that ain't an ick, I don't know what is. Okay. So I came up with. <laughs> an- <laughs> oh! <laughs> they thought she was a boy oh. for so long. No, oh my God, he just dunked on her so hard. It's just like. If that's not Nick, I don't know what is. An ick uh, when we were in Australia. Was it me? Did I give you an ick? No, oh. I gave it to myself. Really? Yes. Get okay. ready. Okay. It's going to get this, so bad. This it definition so has bad. been raped. This you definition know, has been fucking it's beaten it's down. It's a deranged definition of ick. Interesting, because it's a two-parter. <laughs> okay. Half of it is an ick for women, and half of it is an ick for men. Okay. And I, I'm gonna demonstrate it. Oh no, I'm scared. Okay. No, no, it's fine. Okay. If if it's bad, we can cut it out. No, it's fine. We're married. So we are married. No matter what ick you give me, I can't leave. Uh. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> yeah. Okay. Whoa! 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 We are married. No matter Whoa. what ick you give me, I Ash. can't leave. Uh. <laughs> the pure he, felt thing. He is so felt. That he's like, my God, I thought I had a plan. He's like, I thought I had a way to get out of this. If I just embarrassed myself and gave her the ick hard enough, she would leave me and I could get out of this. <laughs> he's been <laughs> so felt, felt it so hard. He's transforming into felt. Oh, look at him. He's like morphing into felt. Like, <laughs> he is. He has become the felt. Yeah. <laughs> I have become felt, I destroyer am. of my career. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. I don't have a lot of room to demonstrate it. I'm st- I'm really scared. I wonder if I'll be able to be seen on the wide. Do you know what he's going to do? Don't Does anybody my- know what's going to happen here? I don't know. What do you <laughs> think is going to happen here? Look at this posture. This is oh, it's just this like like he's like a gimp. It's like this submissive <laughs> like Igor pants? hunchbacked. Well, that's what we're going to see. Uh-huh. I'll move my camera. I'm going to take these off. Idubs is gonna take uh, his pants off like a sissy. His pants are made of felt. Look, his pants. Bro, <laughs> he's, he's wearing he's wearing felt now. <laughs> yeah, Idubs needs to hear free <laughs> You're gonna like okay. shit yourself or something. <laughs> she felt him. She goes, "Are you gonna shit yourself again, or what?" 
like just nails him on the IBS cross again and just laughs at him. It's so ruthless. So ruthless. Bringing up his IBS. Oh, wait, no, that's not quite right. <laughs> it's like something like. <laughs> Okay, that's part one. Why did he, okay. why did he think this All was right. a good idea? Folks. Is this, that, the, is that what he is does when at. she pegs him? This is where we're at. His, like, le was, his leg is just made of felt. He's the Grinch. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> I told you guys. I told you yesterday, this might be the craziest episode of their podcast that there has been. And I, it's up there. I what think is, this is like the, this is a long segment we've been doing too. So we're at an hour and forty on just this segment. Okay. This is part two. <laughs> All right. Okay, two parter. That gave you the ick. Yeah, the taking. You've the... done that before. What? Two. <laughs> She's like, well, you do that all the time. Oh, no. Is her job, like, does she get paid per felt? Like, you I, know what I mean? guess so. It's always a good look when your significant other's laughing when you get naked there. You know? It's You've always done great. that exact thing. Yeah, I know. Okay. Right know. before the peg. What is going on? Pants. I'm not. I'm just saying that this is like. This is also a very like. It's the craziest. It's also very confusing. I know. Doesn't it? Like, you're I like, know. You're like, how many times while you're editing do you go, what? What? You want like, I, I, it must be like the constant. whole time. It's constant. It's you understand? Like, <laughs> I cut out more of like the convoluted nonsense because you just can't even present it. It's just so incoherent and baffling that they've recorded this and posted it. And you're like, what's going on? Sober Sheldon says, you could tell me that this is CGI. Like, for real. You could say this is, cr this is nuts, man. Oh, man. I swear, Ash, that I might, while I'm playing some games and relaxing at one point, I might listen to the full episode so I can just hear like uh, you, I'm actually you might curious. want to because th curious. this episode we were able to keep one third of the entire podcast. Wow, which like, is wild. Depending on how difficult it is to get the pants up, this is like these like fit me pretty uh, well. Yeah, yeah. Like think of like a pair of jeans that you're squeezing into type meme. Mm -hmm. Uh. He's confused. There's like a visual, and I saw she it in the mirror be. when I was putting it on, where I was like... She should be confused. What? Oh, my God. Whoa. Oh, man. He's like, he's like become a demon. Like, his eye has just been taken by the Lord. The Felt Lord has plucked his eye from his head. <laughs> Stuff, Ian. It's Bell's palsy. <laughs> This is something. There's mm -hmm. something to this. When I've, I've paused it on three, like, uh, left eye blinks. Just random and frames. You want, <laughs> I'm going to pull up pants, and you're, uh, you're doing it with the... That's what it is. He has Ralph eye because Alex Wasabi and Dr. <laughs> Mike took that eye from him. Did he, he lose the Wasabi? Up. It was the second one, right? Yeah, I think it was. What is Wasabi even doing? I haven't heard about him in years. You know, yeah, since the fucking, yeah. Um, effort of unbuttoning and unzipping so it goes on smooth and easy. Yeah, this really is a Joe Rogan over. tier You're podcast. Kind of chunky and you can't do that too well. I was just One day go 34,000 views. You know, I mean, it's not, not doing the hottest, but... Say I've never been able to do that. Really? Yeah. Okay. Well, I do that. And I feel like it is, that's Nick. There's something very attractive about a woman's ass being so fat that she's like struggling to like get her pants into right. or her right. ass into her pants. Uh huh. And, yeah, like, and that's fine. And trying to like, I think. I mean. We have this perception. Mm -hmm. Like through media and everything. Uh, I don't know what's this happening. Is the I, I feel like I'm... through media. 
like the media has indoctrinated us and on men and women are to take their pants on and off. Like, how did this happen? We, we've hit this is like, like shiver levels. me timbers, freezing cold take. Shiver me timbers, Captain. It's icy cold. Anissa, icy cold. Anissa is Ian's Portugal. <laughs> <laughs> really is. Women are the ones who need to like change their clothes frequently. True. Because they're doing things. True. And right. they're the ones what? with big. What do you mean women are doing things? Because women are doing things. <laughs> oh, Come on, Boy, bud. That makes no sense. What the f are you talking about? What does that even mean? No, but like... Women are doing things. <laughs> Men don't do things, you know. <laughs> the media indoctrinated us to think that only women do things, and that's why they need to change their clothes more often. Like, okay, let me. Let me the feminist theory class should be: uh, we, we are indoctrinated that women should change their clothes more often because they're sex objects and they exist for the male gaze and titillating the male gaze through costume changes because they're mere objects for men's amusement. Like, I'm a better feminist than these idiots. This is sad. This is sad. Like, let's figure it out. Let's figure I, it out, folks. I, I feel like I've been, like, I feel like I was knocked out, like, in the fucking, in the, uh, you feel like you get hit with, like, the poppy. orb of, Salt yeah, Poppy just came back and f finished me off again, and I'm just like, what is going on? hit with the orb of confusion? <laughs> you know in Pokemon, when they use confusion, that's the feel like that's yes. what it would feel like, you know? But and yeah, big asses. Yeah. Right? So or, if you're a man Big the... asses and mm -hmm. the additional detail that they're not fat. Uh... Right? So they can they can't they don't have to unbutton it. You do all this f***ing deal with all this hardware, taking off the big belts. You well, know what okay, I mean? Pause. Like, why wouldn't you take your belt off your pants if you're taking them off? Because you're going to have to take them off at some point anyway. Yeah. Like, you're just going to throw it in the laundry machine with the belt on? <laughs> okay. I don't know, the I social commentary this. here is riveting. <laughs> These guys have beaten my my mental state <laughs> into oh, submission. Oh, oh, only lose me back really nailed it here. I have no brain and I must pontificate. <laughs> like <laughs> you would get better social commentary from crackheads outside of Home Depot than this. You know what I mean? Oh, oh sorry, sorry, sorry. Print uh, porn Media? games or something. Uh, oh yeah, my probably. God. What? Because <laughs> I have to undulate your. And cheeks and your hips and everything you have to like do a move True. to pull your pants up fe you feel like it feminizes it feminizes you because i'm sh i my dubs has been feminized yeah. well yes he, yes he just, did, he just admitted to being feminized <laughs> i i guys can we like is there any way to save this man no he is just like an unredeemable man listen he's like he's the walking dead he is, is the living dead. We've already said this. We want a spot on cold ones. Ian, link us up, and then we'll... Um... He can't even get on cold <laughs> ones. What are you talking about? <laughs> he can't even get on cold <laughs> Listen, never get pegged and listen to Sissy Hypno as a sub-5 male. <laughs> this is what will happen to he you, can't man. even get on shaking ass when I'm doing that. I feel hella feminist Whatever. right now because when you shake your ass, I think it's awesome. That's badass. She's Brandon. feeling hella fe <laughs> like the hella friend. feminist fist bump. The hella feminist fist bump. Guys, look at his posture here. This is, this is like a gimp. Look at him. Look at him. nuts, bro. And get your freaking ass in And here. then the pants taking off kind of in the same manner. Yeah, uh, that does give me the ick, okay. but not because <laughs> it like feminizes you. Or not putting. But oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, that does whoa, give whoa, me the whoa, ick. Whoa, 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 whoa. Not because it feminizes you. So for her, Ian being feminized is not an ick. Oh. That's a, that's a feature, not the bug.
That's what she wants. She wants Ian to be feminized. Wow. She, she wants to peg him. This is brutal, dude. Ick, okay. but not because it like feminizes you. Or not putting. You should think of is you should get like maybe oh, a male man. role model in your head who's like, oh man. Okay, bring He's this like, back. This is actually crazy. Actually, you know, okay, whatever. You brought it back. She's talking about you need to get a male role model and you need to envision them doing this so you can be more secure about yourself as much. Like, listen to Okay, this. okay. Is you should get like maybe a male role model in your head who's mm. like, oh man, he's like, he's the coolest, mm -hmm. you know? Whether that be Robert Pattinson, mm. Dwayne The Rock. Robert De Niro. <sighs> even Robert. Andrew Tate, if you want to, if that's what. Ooh. Oh, she didn't like that. She did not like Andrew Tate being mentioned. She was seething. Whoa. I love zooming in, bro. What you require? True. Picture them sucking out of a straw. Yeah. Right? You don't have to, like, envision them, like, pursing their lips an incredible mm -hmm. amount. Just imagine they're talking to you. I thought she can't imagine, though. Right? She can't imagine it. So... <laughs> Got him! Hard as they can. And as you're telling a good story, they're like, mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Ca casual. Cas Wait, so you, you imagined it. Casual. You know? Maybe it's a whiskey with a little straw. Yeah. There you go. A little Robert De Niro. That suck. was... How long has it been, Dane? Hour 10. Hour 10. Holy crap. Uh, okay, I, I think this is a good place to call it for the usuals. Oh, the usual. The normies. The, nor the normies. The, the public. Patreon. Urinators. The Shrek Swamp. No. Urinators. That's, that's the private people in Patreon. Oh, my. Australia trip. We just got back.